This patient was referred to me for endodontic retreatment of tooth number 30. According to the patient, the root canal was done about five years ago. Recently, he started to have some pain and discomfort and then suddenly noticed he called it a pimple on his gum. PFM crown, as you can see, buildup, previous root canal, and a peripheral lucency here. The distal canal is clean. The problem is right here. The infection is right there. Here's the buccal sinus tract right there, as you can see. And you can see also that this patient has had gingival recession and there is a deep buccal a fraction lesion associated with the tooth as well. You can see PFM crown with metal occlusal. So today went through that PFM crown, removed the buildup, removed these plastic thermophil obturators, as you can see right here, destroyed this many files, even broke a orifice opener as you can see right here but I was able to retrieve it in I don't know I didn't even use anything to retrieve it I just uh, I just used hypo and uh, the two because because the two mesials join I broke it in the coronal part of the mesiobuccal canal and I just uh, I just injected uh, hypo in the mesiolingual canal and the this broken broken file uh, popped right out of the mesiobuccal canal with with the uh, with the with hypo <laughs> and but again you can see how many how many files I destroyed to be able to regain patency the distal canal I was not able to regain patency. Uh, uh, and but again, I'm not worried about that much. I mean, I tried, I tried my best, but couldn't do it. But the, no periapical relucency is here. The periapical relucency infection is associated with the mesial roots. And again, you can see I was able to regain patency and instrument clean, disinfect the apical region of this canal. And uh, then I was able to obturate it three dimensionally. Again, we did this in one appointment, despite the fact that there is a sinus tract and also infection. So, uh, redid the root canal in one appointment. When patient comes back, um, hopefully, hopefully when he comes back in six months um, for a post-op check, I will um, post that video. This is another angulation. Again, you can see that we're able to regain patency. Regaining patency in these in these situations is extremely important. So, a lot of people, a lot of clinicians usually see the end result. They use they see the end result and they think that we accomplished this with no pain and suffering. They don't realize that us endodontists that we go through, we go through a lot to create something like this. <laughs> Anyways, we temporize the tooth and refer the patient back to his dentist for the permanent restoration.